Welcome everyone to a special energy report. I was doing something else this morning. I was called to be here and um, there's a lot of shifting going on right now. We just had um, the 222 energy report and what was going on with the full moon and really um, it was a time of really showing us what's left over that we of our negative patterns of what we're trying to shift away from so we can make room for what we're manifesting what we're doing and um it's a time of karma you know when i was pre-shuffling the cards justice justice made its presence known and it is a time of justice we're going to have justice right that's where we're working towards having justice for ourselves and really seeing that that looks like a different picture than what we thought it was. It's not, you know, going out there and getting revenge for our hurts. It's actually healing. It's actually uh, restoring and rebuilding and creating and creating something new that wasn't there before. And really that's the time we're shifting into. We have spring coming. You know, we know what spring means. Spring is a time of new beginnings, uh, blossoming, love in the air. And, you know, winter, you know, winter, we're, we're underneath the surface. We're, try, we're trying to crack open. We're trying to crack open and grow. And it's, it's, you know, I like to look at the seasons that I'm in as examples and tools for my own life. Now in saying that, I just wanna, you know, talk exactly about what the number three means. And we're gonna just quickly go to the Tarot Bible here. And it's uh, pretty simple. Number three, creativity, results, and achievement. Creativity, results, and achievement. And that's why the Justice card was here. We're going to have results. We're going to have achievement. So we need justice. Now, you know, cleansing karma. Now we're going to be creative. And we can create with these energies. We don't have to stay down in the darkness. We create through them, with them. And then, you know, we raise our vibration and then we're, we're going to move away. We're, you know, you don't always, we don't, we don't just stay in one place. Now, let me have a little quick sip of my coffee. And <clears throat> let's see what's going down. Hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. But I, I do feel things shifting myself. Um, it's been rough, but I feel lighter and I feel, I feel like I, I see I'm starting like enough, enough of what's been happening has been cleared away that I, you know, I can see a very, a different path that wasn't there before. The Empress. Archangel Gabrielle, lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nature, nurture yourself and others. There it is. This is exactly what we're talking about. And this is perfect. This is the energy we want to be in right now. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. The Empress. as connecting to nature. Um, source. Birth of new life. I see spring in that card. You know what? Let's just read that card. Let's read that card. Your creativity and hard work are bringing you great rewards. According to this card, you have the Midas touch right now. 
So anything you nurture and give your loving attention to will flourish. Marriage, children, and issues involving motherhood, creativity are positively affected now. Whether you're trying to give birth to a child, nurture life into plants or pets, or help a new project or business to grow, your creative endeavors will be successful. Enjoy the beautiful things in life, knowing that you deserve to be wonderfully provided for. Take excellent care of your body with the massage, yoga, or anything that makes you feel healthy, vibrant, and luxurious. Abundance, spending time in nature, indulging in creativity and artistic projects, loving and nurturing yourself or others, a time of excellent emotional or physical health. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger angel who guides and supports expectant and adoptive parents as well as those involved in newborn creative projects. Call upon Gra Gabrielle to inspire your creative ideas and give you the courage and opportunities to express them. And that's why I want to say nature, not nurture. I really felt the presence of nature in this card. So naturally that was coming out of my mouth. There is such a deep connection to nature in this card. I can feel the presence. Well, hello. Yeah, you know what, guys? This is so many cards. Let's try that again. Cards everywhere. Let's try that again. There we go. Eight of Earth. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. That's continuing to work on what we're creating and manifesting, our visions, our visions here. What does new earth look like? What are we creating? How are we harmonizing? You know, how are we healing within and harmonizing with the people around us? And, you know, continue to manifest with our visions and understanding this stuff takes more time than we thought. Really learning that instant satisfaction is the high that we're moving away from. And now it's about slow and steady wins the race. And learning to be patient and manifest and, you know, slow down. Now the cards don't want to say anything. There we go. Six of water. Memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children romant romanticizing the past. And that's getting back to something in our childhoods, right? With the five of water, things are not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. The Chariot, Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. With Ego, Archangel Jaffael, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. And the main energy at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Earth. Dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. 
All right, so what I see here is we need to stop crying over spilled milk, literally the past, our negative patterns we're moving away from. We need to recognize we're doing the hard work to move away from them, okay? We're building something new. We need to focus our energy. We need to put our energy there. You know, what grows is where we put our energy. So if we're putting our energy into the negative, we're growing the energy, the negative, the negative energy. If we put the energy into the positive, we're growing the positive. And that's where we're going. We're building positive patterns. Now, we're going to continue to work on self-discipline -dis for achievement, willpower, because we are moving forward. We're building something here. We're building something that wasn't there before. We're actually building something. Your thoughts are building patterns. And they're building patterns out there for the collective as well. Just even your thoughts. Now imagine everything else you do. It all makes a difference. And when you continue to charge your negative story, your negative cycle, and continue to rebuild your negative template every time you try to heal, you are not going where you want to go. Well, unless that's where you want to be. Then you need to look at that. But that's not where we're going. We are, we're raising vibration. We're shifting out of here. We're doing better for the planet. We're doing better for ourselves. We're restoring. We're taking back our power. Because we need to heal. You know, we need, we need, we need our energy to be able to be fully functioning through our body so we can manifest and harmonize. We have the six of water. This is really about going back to your childhood and really, you know, thinking about what really made you happy, what really made you feel good. Yes, feel the nostalgia there, but don't get stuck there. Use that energy to create with, but don't get stuck in the past. Don't get stuck in ego. Don't get stuck in your hurt, your pain, your victim templates. We shift out of that, we move forward. And then we take our masks off. Like it's now time to take off your mask and just create, just create. And you know what, be, find even within that process, like you cleanse, you know, you cleanse the denseness and you actually really raise your vibration when you step into your authentic self and you just take your mask off and you stop trying to please everybody. This isn't about pleasing everyone so people like you. This isn't about feeding into the ego. Oh, it better look like this. It better look like this. It better look like all these little templates that are out there that we know we're not working. We're building new templates. We're shifting out of things. We're shifting out of ego. We're raising vibration. And we're going to study. We're going to study. Continue to study. You know, that's why the page of earth here, the page of earth is on a spiritual quest. Okay, listen, let's just get the meaning straight out of the book. Okay. Good news about financial matters is coming soon. Your plans move successfully forward at a steady pace. You may adopt a new interest or passion. A youth who was a student or who enjoys studying, someone who can be optimistic, but still realistic with what can be accomplished. Successful, dependable, patient, frugal, and trustworthy. Doing your research, wisdom beyond one's years, a return to school and materialism. And this is about materializing, not with the ego, refilling our cup. Now, just clarify here. I'm just letting the cards uh, tell me what's happening here. Okay. We've got 
the two of wind, the crossing, and brother wind. Two of wind, the crossing. You are in a temporary balance, which may feel like a state. There is a sense of release from captivity. Maintain, ba maintain balance gently and peace can continue. It is a time to use all of your wisdom and understanding to assess the situation you now face. The dark clouds of your mind are scattered as if blown by a strong wind at daybreak. An important new idea is taking hold in your mind. It is as if a light is turning on in your life. Pay attention to new thoughts. This is an exciting time. As you think about your new ideas, you will not be able to follow every nuance to its logical completion. Point to the future, but there will be time for that later. Attend to the present and accept the great potential of your new ideas. Well, that just says everything we were talking about. Now we've got Wind Brother. You may feel torn between two ideas or ideas that seem to be of equal weight or value. Go deep within to find the answer. Meditate for you will not ease this conflict through continual analysis. If you find your head spinning with too many ideas, Find a teacher to help you focus. And that's really where intuition comes into play. Like, really, that's really where intuition comes into play. Because, you know, logic can keep you stuck. And logic can keep you in a, a thought process. But then we switch to our heart. We switch to um, our intuition. We meditate. We spend time with Source, Source and Mother Earth. And it helps guide us. And you know what? Slow down. This is all about patience and slowing down and learning how to manifest and understand. It's not happening like this. It's not happening like that anyways. So we need to cultivate patience. We need to learn how to transmute to um, things not necessarily going our way in the beginning stages of creation process. Because a vision is a vision. Grounding it and materializing it here, it always looks different than our vision. Okay, we're going to get... You know, well, speak about Mother Earth, and there she is. I wanted to get one more card, and we're taking that one, because that's what I feel. And, you know, these cards, we won't even worry about them right now. We're just going to see what Mother Earth has to say. So, Earth Mother, you have a high level of compassion. The, the creative forces of your life must be quietly nurtured. Creative fields will eventually bloom. Love every stick, stone, plant, and animal, and you will experience great bounty. Be diligent in attuning to every detail of the work required as you tend to your garden. It is time to rejoice in your own life and to help create a joyous life for others. And this says, this says everything. This is what we're doing. This is how what we're creating. And it's beautiful. Now, we'll see what's unknown. And, okay. All right. Here it is. This card flew up. The other cards flew over. And let's see what is being activated. There we go. So we have the two of wands and number 13. 
transformation. So transition and liberation. With the Two of Wands, it's clear you're on your way to success. You focused on a goal and have boldly pointed all efforts in that direction. Since the Suit of Wands deals heavily with the mind, take this time to become aware of your thought patterns, specifically towards yourself. What is the quality and tone of your thoughts, mostly positive or negative? How well do you treat yourself on the journey to your highest dreams? How well do you treat yourself to the journey, to your highest dreams? Because if it's negative self-talk and if it's judgments to others and negative self-talk towards others, even in your mind, those patterns are out there and those patterns out there are, are out there for the collective to feed off of. But if you can shift to positivity, you become, you're not charging your negative cycle anymore. You add the positive charge. You become a fully functioning battery you are creating new positive patterns out there for the collective, for yourself, and allowing us all to connect and harmonize together. And you know how beautiful that sounds here. And it has to be with you too. This is about you too. This is about us all collectively raising our vibrations and being happy. You don't have to switch to taking it all on either and then going into self-sabotaging behavior. Transformation. Transition and liberation. A symbol of renewal and rebirth, the Cicadia sweeps away the past, setting upon a clear new pathway, having a transformative life cycle. Cicadia assists in working through spiritual changes to move from an ending of a cycle into a fresh new beginning in the creation of the new healthy you the clearing of obstacles allows your energy to move forward life is permanently changing and change brings forth creativity and new freedoms transformation liberation change transition rebirth renewal and there it is we've come full circle from where we started off now to the ending here I know it's hard when we have to say goodbye to the past but where there's destruction there is creation and you are creating something beautiful here for all of us please remember that now use self-care and I will see you again soon until next time